morning everyone. Now this is something that can be quite daunting to do. I'm just going to varnish this to bring back a little bit of the colour. As it dries it can look a little bit flat. Now I've painted it with interactive Atelier acrylics and I'm going to use the Atelier varnish. Um, it's a satin varnish which I prefer because I don't like it to be too glossy. Now I pour some out into a container. Now, as you can see, it looks like PVA and it's a really strange colour, so it's quite scary to put this on. I'm using quite a soft brush. Oh, you see, it goes all milky and, um, and you think, oh my goodness, what am I doing? But just like you're Glossing a door, just cover that all and it will just give it a little bit of protection and it brings back that sort of freshness of colour. But for about an hour, that's going to look horrible because it, you would think, oh my goodness, I've just wrecked the whole thing, I've turned it a funny colour. A nice soft brush the bigger the better and just gently put that over the top and I do remember to sign um, a little while before you do this I normally wait about four weeks for the interactive ones to dry because I don't want to pull up any of the color um, if it's a normal acrylic then you can do it almost straight away and I've signed it about a week ago just so that that dries properly. Now we're just going to go that way across now so that the varnish gets into all the grooves. If you were to start to see something moving underneath, um, maybe you've been a little bit too enthusiastic to do it, then just stop and leave it to dry. Just make sure nothing's run anywhere, just sort of tickling the top of it. Uh, when you've done that, just wash out your brush well. And that will just give it a lovely sort of sparkle. It's not going to be shiny because it's, as you can see, satin. But it will just really bring out the vibrancy of that colour. This is a different chroma um, varnish that I use. This is an invisible one. Um, it goes on more like a normal varnish. Um, both are equally nice to use, but this is the one that I prefer. Now, I quite like the invisible, but you can also have a satin finish. I don't particularly like the gloss. They're using a quite a soft brush. Just pop that over. Now, I've left this a couple of weeks um, because I wanted to make sure that it was absolutely dry. Let's do the, around the edges. And you just do long sort of strokes. And it just brings back the colour. It just gives it so much vibrancy. But this won't be shiny. It just makes the colour really, really vibrant. And so you don't sort of fiddle, just go over it, just like you're glossing a door. But you can see it's sort of shining, but then it will stop shining, is it? And I then go crisscross that way just to make sure that all the little grooves have got the varnish in them. If you see that the paint starts to move a bit because it's interactive, it shouldn't do now, but just stop because you don't want that to happen. That's absolutely fine. Now, I don't tend to do more than one coat um, you could do if you wanted to but this will protect it and you can give it a wipe with a cloth when it's really dry it's just brilliant so I hope that clears up a few questions so this one that I've used is the chroma invisible solvent varnish finishing varnish and this is the one that I really love